Hi, I'm Renee. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be swatching lipsticks by the House of Siage. What you see in front of you is a recent order that I placed, and since it was my birthday, I requested for my order to be gift wrapped. I ordered a new lipstick case, the rest of the lipstick colors that I wanted to purchase, and I received a complimentary gift with purchase item. I'm just going to open this now. And this item is the free gift. All right, now that everything is unwrapped, this is the trend number four. I placed this order during the Memorial Day weekend sale, and this was a complimentary gift for purchase that you would receive if your order was, I think, at least $250. I am still a fragrance novice, so I am not the best to describe this fragrance. So it looks like you receive a Tray case, this fragrance inside, and you get an additional refill. I am not sure if you can purchase additional the trend refills after the initial two you receive are used up. I don't see where you could purchase more. On the website it looks like that once these are used up if you like it you just purchase another one let me see what it smells like again I don't know how to describe it it smells nice <laughs> but let's move on to the lipstick this is another case. Oh, and it's sealed. This is another color that is on my list. It is the lavender. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I, oh man. I, I love these things so much. So this is what it looks like. 300 crystals, Swarovski crystals. Very pretty. There are two more colors on my official list that's the hot pink bow and the white bow however i think i am going to go ahead and get the aeronauts limited edition lipstick case as well just so i could go ahead and have all four of the limited edition cases and just because it's really pretty The main purpose of this video is for the House of Siage lipsticks. I ordered four additional colors in Duchess, Dame, Duke, and King. There are 14 original colors. I have 10 of the 14. I do not have Count, I do not have Countess, and I do not have Prince. 
but I have all the other colors and that's what I will be swatching today. The House of Siage Diamond Powder Satin Lipsticks, they contain actual diamond powder. It's crushed up into the formula. It gives the lipstick a nice satiny luminosity and sheen to your lips that looks very pretty. And they also contain vitamin E, which I really enjoy because they're not drying on my lips and they're very comfortable to wear. Another thing to notice about the lipsticks is that the colors are named after royal titles. So you see queen, king, princess, prince, dame, knight. I thought that was a really fun thing to do. I'll go ahead and start removing these from the boxes. Each lipstick retails for $35. There is a 25% off sale on select items, but that includes the lipsticks and the lipstick bow cases. Now I have a deeper skin tone. So this is the video I wish I could find when I was looking for lipstick colors to purchase from the House of Siage. Because if you do not like a color, you're not able to return it. You can only return something if it's defective. So since I'm spending my own money <laughs> on all of these items, I'm not necessarily willing to risk selecting a color that I initially do not think will work for my skin tone. So I hope that others with deeper skin tones will find this video useful. And even if you have a lighter or medium skin tone, I still hope that you enjoy it just so that you can see what the lipstick shades look like on a different complexion. So for the first five, Let's start with Baron. You do not need a lipstick case to make the lipstick work. You would just have to completely remove it from the tube and then you twist it up from the bottom here. So if you want to try the lips, a lipstick color or the lipstick formula before spending the money for a bow case, that's a way that you can do it. So again, the very first color is Baron. Baron is a soft rose gold with rose luminosity. This color I find is to light for my skin tone and it does require a lip pencil in order to work well. I don't mind using lip pencils. I rather like playing with them. It's just that lately I'm leaning more towards getting lipstick shades where I don't have to need a lipstick pencil in order to make it work. I kind of just want to grab the color, put it on, and go. The next color is Baroness. It is a beige nude with gold luminosity. Now, Baroness, because there's less white in the tone, it actually works better for my skin tone than Baron. However, it does still require a lip liner in order for me to make it work because it's still a bit too light. The next three colors are three of the new shades that I ordered. I have no idea 
what these colors look like. So I am really excited to see. This one is Duke. This is very pretty. It's described as a deep rose bronze. To me, I'll say it's more of a mauve. I already know I'm going to like this color. This is going to be very complimentary. <laughs> now we have Duchess. I like swatching them in their <laughs> royal pairings. Again, another color that is brand new that I have not seen. Duchess is a deep mauve nude. It's very similar to Duke. It leans more on the pink side. It has more of a pink tone to it. This is why I also wanted to swatch them next to their partners so that you could get a better comparison to help you figure out which color you'd like to get. Another new color. Dane. This is a deepened mauve with beige undertones. It seems like it is slightly darker than Duchess. very similar to Duke. <laughs> I'm not sure if you would really need to get all three. But me being the lipstick hoarder that I am, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Starting the next row, the last new color that I purchased is King. King is a classic red. Very pretty and rich in tone. Next is Queen, a blue based true red. I've always been curious to see exactly how King and Queen compare next to each other. You can see that King is more orange in it, so it has more yellow undertone in order for it to look more orange. And as the description of Queen, it is more blue based. Both very pretty. We have Emperor. A true deep wine tone. One of my favorites. It's a very pretty berry color. Empress is a rich berry with cool undertones. You can see how cool toned it is compared to the other colors. All of these colors are very complementary to deeper skin tones. I do not need a lip pencil in order to wear these shades. The last color I have to swatch is Princess. 
princess is a vivid pink with blue undertones. You can see how bright it is in comparison. I do need a lip pencil for a princess just to help it not look so stark on my skin. When I was first uh, selecting princess, I wasn't sure how it would look. I actually thought it would look deeper. This is my Gucci lipstick in Love Before Breakfast. I thought it would look more like this. See how deeper a color that is? That's the thing when you're looking at swatches that are on different skin tones. Sometimes it's hard to tell exactly what the color would look like. I thought it would come out this deep. Instead, it's actually this bright, but still a very pretty color that I can make work with a lip pencil. Because I keep mentioning lip liners or lip pencils and helping to use them to make lighter shades work on my deeper skin tone, I thought it would be fun to take a couple of minutes just to play around and um, see what pencils would work with the lipstick colors. I love playing with lip pencils. I have an artist background, so they remind me of color pencils. So I can spend hours just matching and comparing a lipstick shade with a lipstick pencil. And I mainly use lip pencils for four reasons. One, to make a lighter shade more flattering to my skin tone. Two, to exactly match as close as possible a color that I'm wearing for a more precise looking application. Three, to have to tone down colors that may be too bright. And four, just to play around and just to see how I can alter a color and just have fun with it. So, Let's do Princess. So as I've mentioned, Princess is very bright. So my usual go-to for this color lipstick would be MAC Magenta to help tone down colors like this and you see because it's a bit darker and it's also purple it will help blend it really nicely and it gives a very nice ombre effect and I'm very careful I still want the actual lipstick color to be visible so I'm very careful to not just completely eliminate the actual color of the lipstick. It's just a tracing around the edges of my lips in order to blend it, unless I am going for an effect where I'm experimenting or just playing around. Another color that I would try would probably be Maybe a red color. I have cherry. That will give a, a really nice effect. Something I typically, for bright colors, I typically don't like to use brown. I know that's the usual go-to lip color to help adjust lipsticks, but I feel like that dulls the color. So when I'm attempting to adjust a 
brightly toned lipstick, I like to do it with another color. If I were to try to match the color exactly, I have two possible colors that may work. Silly, get in focus, and Embrace Me. I think Embrace Me will probably work better. I think Silly may be a little bit too light. And I love bright lipsticks. I am not afraid of them. They're actually my favorite. I'm not much of a nude lipstick girl. If I look at my collection, the least amount of lipsticks I have are edgy colors, and then next would be nude. Embrace Me is a darker fuchsia magenta color that will help to tone down princess and this is silly it's also a bit darker so that could also work another thing that I do is I will sometimes completely fill in my lip with a lip pencil to even out the color of my lips and to prep it for the color I'm applying so that when I apply the color, it has more of a pop, more of a vibrancy to it. I'm also just sticking with my MAC lipstick pencils because as you can see, I have a lot of lip pencils and we will be here all day. <laughs> Let's play with fairness. You know what? Since I have King, I'm going to go ahead and put King inside of the red case. This is how I keep track of what color is what. Let's do some organizing really quickly. So for fairness, it's more of a neutral shade. I would use a brown for this color, a brown lip pencil. So for that, I wouldn't use chestnut just because it is so dark, but I will, as a matter of fact, let me just grab the browns that I have, my MAC browns. Um, I only have two brands of lip pencils, MAC and NYX, but since I'm now purchasing Pat McGrath, I will be adding those line of lip pencils to my collection as well. I think I, I, I have forgotten how many browns I have in my collection here. Okay, so let's start with the All Star Chestnut. Now you see how dark that is? I feel like chestnut is too dark and will overpower the color of fairness. One that is a typical color, I think the brown that I use the most for my MAC pencils is cork. It's not too, it's not as dark as chestnut and it will bl it blends nicely with my skin tone so i typically when i'm using a mac brown lip pencil i typically gravitate towards cork and i think you could get an idea of how it will nicely blend into fairness 
this is cork. I don't think I forgot to show chestnut as well. There we go. Let's play around. We have hover. I think that would be a very nice color as well. Hodgepodge. Hodgepodge is a color that kind of melts into my skin tone. You can still see it though. Just my type is the last one. I believe this is another super dark. Yeah, it's it's even darker than chestnut. Almost black, but it's not. It's just a very deep, deep dark brown. Another color I would... Oh, I forgot this one. I have, um, have to have it. This almost looks like it's the color. No, oh, it's darker. This is probably a color I would use as like a base under the color to apply bareness over it. What I was about to say was plum is one of my go-to colors in lip pencils. It's a nice um, purple but muted it's like it has some bit of brown tones. This will blend with Baroness so nicely. I'm simply going to swatch Baron right next to what I've already done because they're similar in color with Baron being a bit more pink in tone. So yeah, plum would definitely work nicely. Cork. What was this color again? I think this was have or have not. There you have it. That's the swatches from all 10 House of Siyaj lipstick colors in my collection. I'll have to figure out which of the new mauve shades to put into my new lavender case. I hope you found these swatches helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.